more press release, but just um, as a, an update that Interpol is formally confirmed. The message we would like to send out is that committing crimes against children and thinking that that will be impossible for us to trace today will be possible tomorrow. And uh, the message is quite clear. No pedophiles is safe where if they use the internet or if they doesn't use it. We will follow them and we will trace them down. Fighting Crimes is not only a responsibility for the police, it's a responsibility for the whole society. And if we go together and help each other, that's the way to, um, to fight, to win this uh, battle against the criminality. And especially when it comes to crimes against children, I think that's the most uh, compelling uh, challenge the police have. And, uh, Working together with the public is an extremely good way to solve these cases. We had no idea from which country he belonged to. So there was no country who really could take responsibility to uh, uh, ask for a search warrant. So that was the reason why Interpol stepped in when Germany told us they have found images of an unknown man abusing children. So for a couple of years, we tried to identify him, and, uh, but we had no lead so far. We couldn't say if he was from Europe, if from uh, Americas or Australia. So, but normally, we didn't have a clue which country the person is from. And in those cases, the country themselves take care of identifying the person. So the media has been used before for that purpose. But now there was no country to take that responsibility. So Interpol stepped in. We, we will continue the search for Mr. Neil, and because there is a lot of questions which has to be asked to him. And uh, that's the reason I want him to turn into any police authority in his neighborhood, so we, those questions can be asked.